Hello, hi, my name is Benedict Howard, eBody Fusion for all of your scanner training needs and more. And today I'm going to talk about this once in a while we get a breakthrough in the scanner technology and it all comes from Dr. Karasev. And all of these scanners, I just love them all, and but the Enart line stands head and shoulders above everything else. Not because they don't work, they work really, really well. But if you're a real professional or if you've got the money, um, this would be the definitely the way to develop. So what we're going to do today is do an unboxing on the Enart 911M. Now this is a unit that I've been practicing with since 2008 and I just heard that there's a new Enart 911 out. So in my next video I'll be talking about the different features on that video too. So. Let's get a, get these ones out the, out the way here and bring on stage the, the 911M. And these retail for around, uh, well, presently for around $2,300. Um, and in the box, we get the box, we get the unit. And the 911M model that I have here has this large single electrode on the front. And sometimes you can have different ones. Here's another version. Um, this is great for brushing, for instance, but I'm going to detail this because it's got this good large screen. So let's see if I can turn it on and not only turn it on, but get it onto the camera. <laughs> okay, so here we go. As you saw, this defaults to the Diagnostic 1 mode. If we wanted to change that, then we go into, let's see which it is. Diagnostic 2. So let's just scroll through these settings here. So we'll get back to why we have a 1 and a 2 later on. We've got two of them, two different frequencies. Constant mode, which is just on all the time. Interval mode, which is on and off. AM, again another on and off amplitude modulation. AM, FM, which is amplitude modulation followed by frequency modulation. FM VAR, which we have on the Rhythm 1NT. FM Swing, also on the 1T, what model is it? The, high, the V2 and the version 02 and the version 01. And on this one it also has the B, which I think the version 3 on the Rhythm 1NT has, which is literally like a pulse. It's just like, oops, ouch. Um, it just sends out a pulse and that's all it is. It's like a bee sting. So going back to the diagnostic one, if we put that on the skin, a number comes up, 32, look, nice big number. So it's easy to quickly, look how quickly we can get readings on this. And uh, so that's really cool for when you want to, say, go down somebody's back and locate the area that's the highest reading to give it some, to give it a dose. And supposing we were to go into dose now, so that one was 34. Okay, the E is energy, so it's a head up set of a 7. There's the time at the top left, diagnostic 1. Frequency is 60 on this one, and it just dosed out. And uh, velocity is 1, now it's just gone down. The, uh, okay, the initial dose was 34, 34, and the final dose actually is going down to 24 right now. So it's, anyways, it's finished its dose. Um, so that's how that works. See how quick that was. Now that's not going to always be that quick on chronic situations. Then in um, Diagnostic 2, there we go. Okay, this is what Diagnostic 2 does. It takes a series of readings, a series of four readings there, so that we can establish if I'd moved fingers, for instance, There are the different readings from my different fingers there. Now notice how fast that was in contrast to say the um, the, uh, the Danas line. Um, this is really quick. Um, you don't have to wait for five seconds for it to give you a reading. So it's very, very good for pinpointing where you need to put it. So that's the diagnostic too. So let's say I'm going to go there and I'm going to start to... So what it's doing now is beginning to dose and um, so that will take some time and then it'll dose out. Anyway, let's keep going here and move on to constant mode. Now constant mode is just that, it's on all the time. 
So E equals 7, which is the power level, which we'd set it at from here. This is the energy level. Now on the, oh, talking about the energy level on this, see how it goes up and now it's jumping bigger, bigger steps. That's so that you can speed up and fine tune or speed up big chunks going down the energy spectrum there, or the power levels. So that would be too high for my fingertips. Yeah, that's in a good range. So we've got the constant mode, and there we have the frequency set at 60. And that is now, would be for brushing or just for working on an area for a long time. So you put that after you dosed and found the area, and then if you committed a dose and that wasn't enough, you'd use the constant mode. The interval, let's have a look at that one. Okay, I can feel it. Can I feel it? No, I can't, so let's turn it up so I can tell you what's happening. Okay, I'm feeling it now, and then it's off. So that's his on-off situation with that one. And the same one, the same with this. There's a slight variation in that, which we'll go in in the training. So there's all of these different functions. I'm not going to scroll through every one, but let's see if I can find. Here we go. Okay, that one's an interesting one. FM var. There you can see the frequency changing from 110, 11, 12, and then dropping down again. Now on this unit. I had dreams about this <laughs> just before, like in the months before this came out. And that was to have small little bands or spectrums of, of frequencies that the unit would sweep. And lo and behold, like two or three months later, this unit came out and it was like an answer to my dreams. Because it had occurred to me that we need to, um, we need to spread, we need to sweep the frequencies in different areas of the spectrum to get different responses from the tissues. And apparently others were thinking the same. So here's FM swing. So the Z quotient there, the gaps is changing and the frequency you can see is changing there. Now there are other ways of setting that frequency so that it's in another spectrum. And uh, let's get to keep going there. Now the B is just that. It's energy at 108, bam. It just does one little click on me and that's it. So, if we go to the select over here and we scroll down between these settings, we have different settings that we can save and exit and, and, and save about the different unit, the, the different um, algorithms. So on the diagnostics one, for instance, let's say we wanted to change the frequency, whoops, yes, I'll select it again, <laughs> thank you. Um, so you can dose at all different frequencies on this e naught. So you can drop it all the way down, similar to, this, to the beneficial frequency of the Damas. And if we wanted to do, leave it at that, we'd, leave, we'd set it at 10, um, plus it, and then I don't, don't really want to do it. <laughs> Um, so in Diagnostics 2, let's see what we can select in there. We can select the frequency, which we've already done, and I'm just going to now reselect it and bring it up to the standard one, default. And so we've got Diagnostics 2 taken care of. And um, let's see what we can do. In, so all of these settings, I don't want to disappear. Let's go on to the constant, select. Now we can change the frequency, the intensity, the speed, and the delta. And the delta is the lag, so that's kind of complicated to explain. But those all settings can be modified there, etc. So all of this thing around the... What gives this one, the, this 911M, um, special aspects to it? It's beyond the cosmotic. And the Cosmotic will see units that Enoch brought out about, I don't know, 10 years ago or so. And at that time, there were requests from people that they didn't want to go into healing crises. And so they were trying to avoid the healing crisis, which is a natural response of the body. 
So they brought out the cosmotic, and the cosmotic would shut itself down before um, the body was uh, being uh, pumped up to a healing crisis situation. Uh, that doesn't seem to be, you know, that was great for that unit, and of course it had the wonderful waveform and the whole signature that, that, that is Enart. Um, and then later on, but these, this M series, or excuse me, this 911 series is the most advanced uh, scanners that Enart is bringing out. And of course, Dr. Karasev is the original inventor of the scanner technology back in the 80s. So kind of like what's happening here is we've got like this amazing tool. Um, I'm going to be getting one of the new 911s and I'm going to be detailing that, but I just wanted to show you and give you an introduction to this. Uh, there's two batteries in the back, two AA batteries. Um, they last a fairly long time. Uh, the energy on here compared to some of the other scanners, um, you can feel the energy moving around the body and the skin differently than they do on the other scanners. So it's a different sort of listening. I know there's um, micro resonances that it's listening to, and uh, there's other aspects in there that are kind of like beyond me. But by the time I got to the new 911, I'll be all up to speed with you on that and be able to explain it then. Aloha. My name is Benedict Howard, eBodyFusion.com. Uh, all of your skin are training for your, those needs and more, and uh, you have a great day.